Tactics and Morality How the British used the Enigma machine to undermine the Nazis and Nazi attempts to resecure their intelligence. Imagine a world at war where every message sent across the battlefield is a potential game changer that can turn the tide in anyone's favor. This was the reality in World of War II, where German Nazis used Enigma encrypted communications. This stressed the importance of deciphering communications by the Allies, and the British use of the Enigma machine helped turn the tide in favor of the Allies. This presentation combines elements of intelligence, technology, and deep moral questions surrounding the development and use of the Enigma machine. Let's explore how the British broke the unbreakable Enigma code, Nazi attempts to resecure their communications, and the ethical dilemmas that accompanied British success. The Enigma machine was an electromechanical rotor cipher machine that had a keyboard, a set of rotors, and a plug board that created additional permutations. Each keystroke encrypted a letter, changing with each press due to the rotating rotors creating a polyalphabetic cipher. Although it was made to be used commercially, the Germans saw its complexity and perceived unbreakability in communication encryption, making it a vital tool for the German military. Before the war, the Polish cipher Biru made significant strides in understanding the Enigma machine. Led by cryptalanists like Marian Rajewski, Jerzy Rozowski, and Henryk Jigalski, they reconstructed an Enigma machine and developed techniques to decrypt its messages. In 1939, facing imminent invasion, the Poles shared their findings with the British and French, laying the groundwork for future efforts at Bletchley Park. Bletchley Park, located in Buckinghamshire, England, became the epicenter of British code-breaking efforts during World War II. Here, a diverse group of experts, including mathematicians, linguists, and engineers, converged for a common cause, to crack Enigma codes encrypted by Axis powers. Operational security was paramount. The British implemented stringent measures to keep their success a secret, ensuring that neither the Germans nor even Allied forces knew the extent of their decryption capabilities. Notable figures like Alan Turing, Gordon Welchman, and Joanne Clark played crucial roles in developing several techniques and machines especially the bomb, to decrypt Enigma messages. The development of the bomb machine was pivotal. Turing's use of cribs, or known plain text, and Welchman's diagonal board significantly enhanced the bomb's effectiveness, allowing for faster decryption of Enigma messages. Turing and his colleagues improved the bomb machine to efficiently discover the daily settings of German-operated Enigma machines. Decrypted Enigma messages proved crucial intelligence in various military operations. In the Battle of the Atlantic, breaking German Enigma codes allowed the Allies to anticipate and counter German U-boat attacks on convoys. The capture of U-boat U-559 in 1942 was also a significant intelligence coup, leading codebooks in an Enigma machine. British intelligence also relied on espionage and resistance movements across Europe. Agents provided valuable information about German cryptographic practices. The decrypted intelligence, often referred to as ULTRA, was carefully integrated into military operations without revealing its source. This ULTRA intelligence significantly reduced shipping losses and ensured continuous flow of supplies from America to Britain. During the North African campaign, ULTRA intelligence was critical in aiding the Allies to outmaneuver Rommel's forces and Italian troops showcasing the immense tactical advantage gained from breaking Enigma. This resulted in successful Allied operations, which ultimately led to victory in a North African campaign. Throughout the war, ultra-intelligence provided a significant strategic and tactical edge to the Allies, although the Germans also made significant efforts to resecure their encrypted messages. Initially, the Enigma machine was used by the German Army and Air Force had three rotors. In 1938, a fourth rotor was added to the naval enigma, creating the M4 variant and increased the complexity of the encryption. This was crucial for the Germans during the Battle of the Atlantic for encrypted U-boat communications. The Germans used secret key sheets to implement daily encryption changes where rotor settings, plugboard connections, 
and starting positions were altered. As the war progressed, some units increased these key changes to multiple times per day to further complicate decryption efforts by the Allies. German cryptographic security units conducted audits and assessments of Enigma security. When they suspected that their codes were compromised, they investigated potential leaks and made adjustments. For example, when suspicions arose about Allied interception and decryption of messages, additional security measures were introduced, such as adding new rotors and changing operating procedures. Some Enigma variants included different rotor wirings and more complex plug board settings. Even with the many measures made by the Nazis to resecure their Enigma machine communications, they were ultimately insufficient against the relentless and innovative efforts of Allied codebreakers particularly at Bletchley Park. Improvements in cryptanalytic techniques and tools kept the pace of German security enhancements. The continuous advancements in Allied cryptanalysis, combined with intelligence operations that capture critical Enigma-related materials, ensured that the Allies maintained a strategic advantage in deciphering German communications throughout the war. While the tactical advantages of breaking Enigma were undeniable, the moral implications of these actions are complex. From a utilitarian perspective, the code breaking was justified as it contributed to the greater good by potentially shortening the war and saving lives. Given that the Allies were fighting against the atrocities and aggression of the Nazi regime, their use of decrypted intelligence was aimed at achieving a just and necessary victory. However, significant moral dilemmas arose. British officials often had to make tough decisions such as allowing certain attacks to proceed to protect the secret of ultra-intelligence, and ultimately hiding the strategic advantage that German Enigma codes had been broken. The decision not to evacuate the city of Coventry, despite prior knowledge of a bombing raid, remains one of the most controversial decisions of the wartime Prime Minister Winston Churchill. If Churchill had acted, it could have possibly alerted Adolf Hitler that the Allies cracked Nazi top-secret Enigma communications. Was it for the greater good that the benefits of playing the long game was more important than the cost of leaving Coventry to a terrible fate? Nonetheless, the war continued, and Allied operations continued to rely on the Enigma machine to predict German movements. The knowledge gained through breaking German Enigma codes led to certain morally questionable operations that resulted in significant loss of life, both military and civilian. Post-war, the secrecy surrounding ultra-intelligence continued, affecting the recognition and moral standing of those who worked at Bletchley Park. Secrecy was maintained to protect the methods and sources of intelligence, as well as to leverage the knowledge in the emerging Cold War. However, in later years, as the work of Bletchley Park was declassified, many individuals received posthumous honors and recognition. For example, Alan Turing was granted a posthumous royal pardon in 2013, and in 2019, he was chosen to be the face in a new 50 pound note in the UK. The breaking of the Enigma code was a complex operation that combined intelligence, innovation, and secrecy. While it provided a crucial advantage during World War II, it also raised significant moral questions. Even with Nazi attempts to resecure their encrypted messages, the relentless and innovative efforts of Allied code breakers helped turn the tide of the war. The legacy of Bletchley Park and the breaking of Enigma remains a testament to the profound challenges and moral considerations inherent in intelligence work. <laughs>